I'm here with Mike at the Argon 18 stand. Mike's going to take us through the whole new tri range that's coming for 2016. So Mike, what have you got for us? Uh, so this year, Argon 18 uh, designed an entire lineup of triathlon bikes, brand new from the ground up. We really wanted to focus on high level, top level aerodynamics, ease of use, and the triathlete in general, and the integration with the bike. So here we have the 119. Um, the 119 is our top level offering. We spent a lot of time tweaking, developing the aerodynamic profile of the tubes and the shapes to basically create what we wanted was the world's fastest triathlon bike. One of the things that we're really proud of and that we had to develop was the, a brand new braking system. Before our brakes were mounted in the bottom bracket, they worked quite well, but we got a, a bit of feedback that maybe we could do something a little better. What we ended up doing was mounting them perfectly horizontal on the seat stay and covering them to make a nice slick aerodynamic profile. But in order to mount them horizontal, we had to develop a completely new mechanism to actuate the brake. So what we have here is a uh, cam pull brake system where the cable comes in perfectly perpendicular. And it, what it does is it rotates a three-dimensional wedge that actuates the brake arms uh, to give you your braking force. And it's a really, really easy setup. You can pull the wheel out without having to disengage the brake. And it gave us some incredible performance when we went to the wind tunnel to test it. The new brake can accommodate rims up to 28 millimeters wide. One final note about the aerodynamics. Uh, when we went into the wind tunnel, we realized that we were about 15% more aerodynamic than our 118. Uh, so this was a massive leap in aerodynamics as far as our new flagship product. Fantastic. Um, so you've also got the E117 try. Yeah. So let's have a look at that too. Our E117 is our entry level triathlon bike. It's kind of the 119's little brother, but we didn't just scale the profiles from the 119 and trickle it down to the 117. This is a UCI legal bike. So what we did is we actually uh, built this from the ground up as well with a little bit of the knowledge that we learned with the 119. So we tuned and tweaked the profile specifically within the UCI envelope to get a really great aerodynamic advantage on this, but keeping it in a kind of standard form of a triathlon bike using a standard fork and a 118 steer tube. We ported over the nitrogen fork for this because it gave uh, the numbers that we wanted out of the envelope and we ported over the brakes as well because that aided in the aerodynamic advantage. Um, so when we were all said and done our entry level bike uh, came in just under the 119 as far as aerodynamic performance so now with our entire line we've taken uh, a massive shift upwards in the aerodynamic advantage. You've got the aero accessories available in mm -hmm. the Plus models. So what can you tell us about those? Yeah, so uh, on top of the 119 and the 117, uh, we have the 117 Tri Plus and the 119 Tri Plus. Part of this project as a whole was really to analyze the triathlete how the triathlete rides, not only in a race, but also training, what kind of needs they need as far as uh, of those elements. So we've integrated nutrition, hydration, and storage for these projects. So we've developed an integrated cookie jar for your nutritional needs during the race. Uh, we have a uh, front-mounted uh, Tor Hands bottle, um, and then we've developed our own uh, Tailwind system on the back. Uh, the Tailwind is an integrated storage and hydration system. It sits in a low pressure zone behind the rider, so it actually gives a slight aerodynamic advantage when used in the standard configuration shown there. You can reconfigure that system. The box comes off with a, a quick uh, spring-loaded button. You can remove the two cages, run with three cages. You can even run with a single cage. And because it's adjustable, uh, you can adjust it fore and aft and the angle so you can tuck that one, uh, one cage a lot closer to you and under the saddle. Exciting stuff. Thanks very much, Mike. Thank you very much.